what's going on? Allie! Dad! Roof. Take the stairs. We'll get her up there. What'd you see? Just more of those annoying little gray guys. Ugly little spuds. Mm, that's not good. I saw something else. What? A little girl. No, no, no. Don't even think about it. What? I know you. You're thinking about helping her. Well, she's in trouble. It don't matter. We were told to check out the situation. They were very clear that we couldn't be seen. Don't scream. I'm here to help you. Promise you won't scream. Huh? <gasps> What's your name? Uh, Allie. We don't have much time. Wait, who, who are you? My friends call me Horned Avenger. Come on. Let's get out of here. Hey, what's going on up there? <laughs> They've seen us. We have to go. Now! Well, what do we do now? What do you mean? I mean, how do we get away? Well... I, uh, haven't figured that part out yet. Great. Uh, don't worry. I'll figure something out. I always do. I can see where she might be disappointed. I mean, most rescues usually include some sort of actual escaping. like pudding. What? I, I like pudding. Do you like pudding? I, I, I guess so. Why? Mm, you got vanilla? 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 Do you mean vanilla? <laughs> we have to do this now. I'm making it great. Better get moving. It won't take them long to find us. Well, who are they?
What? You have a problem with ducks? Well, I'm not sure what you did back there. But a duck, you couldn't have made something a little scarier? It's the first thing that popped into my head. You see, I haven't actually finished my training yet. Right now, this stuff is really kind of hit and miss. Oh, I just had these tights cleaned. Come on, this way. How do you spell sewer? I don't know why. I cannot stress enough how important it is at this particular time that you help me with my spelling! Ah, uh, okay. Uh, try S E W E R! S E W O R? E R! E R! E R! Here. Uh, ow! Hey, hold on a second. I, I think I pulled something. I don't think you can pull fat. Wait a minute. There's something in my boot. Oh, oh yeah. That's better. H how did you do that back there? What? The swimming pool, the pudding, the duck, the whole drawing on the street thing. What you did back there isn't possible. Ah, <laughs> tiny one. If you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can move mountains. Well, where are we going now? We have to go back. I have to help my family. There's nothing we can do for your family right now. We have to get someplace safe and regroup. Meet my mentors, my teachers, and my friends. The Kaleos. They are the ones training me. Without them, we wouldn't be sitting here right now. What do you mean? It seems that there are evil forces at work trying to take over our world. Take over the world? Okay, what's going on? I don't have time for this and I have to find my family. There's nothing we can do for your family today. You need to get some rest. We'll keep watch, and when you wake up, we'll try to figure out how to get your family back. With the awesome power of boredom, 
I have taken over the planet. This world is now mine. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? We have a problem, Your Excellency. Yes? It seems in the invasion last night, we encountered something unusual. I don't have time for this. What is the problem? One of the individuals we ran into was not affected by the boredom ray. We hit him directly and it didn't face him. You're mistaken. I created the boredom rays myself. No living creature can take a direct hit and not be affected by its power. I'm sorry, Your Excellency. He was not affected. There was something else. This creature could also create powerful things. Out of thin air, he could create beasts that were very difficult to defeat. Beast? What kind of beast? Well, um, there was this, uh, duck. A duck? You were defeated by a duck! Oh, in charge now. I want this creature found. I want him destroyed now. <laughs> well, look who's awake. Are you okay? No, I'm not okay. I have to help my family. You promised you'd tell me what's going on. That I did. That I did. There's really no easy way to explain what's going on. Our planet is in danger of being taken over by boredom. We don't really know all the details, but we have a good idea of what might be happening. You see, when the great creator spoke everything into being, he gave us all a tremendous gift. Every child in our world is born with incredible creative power that comes from him. If that creativity is nurtured, the children will have the ability to realize that we were all created to know him. That sounds wonderful, but how do we know it's true? Faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. The book also warns that if a child's creativity is not nurtured, the child can be fooled into believing there is no creator. If his or her tremendous gift is ignored, the creative skills could become more destructive than anything ever seen on this world. Do you know who it is? Like I said, we don't know all the details, but using information given to us by our spies, we piece together a story we think is fairly accurate. You see, a few years back... Elmer? Elmer Wainwright! Are you ready for your presentation? Yes, Miss Gray. Well, what are you waiting for? Please proceed. My art project is a drawing of a space alien invading a small town. Ooh. Aliens from planet Drool, and he has captured the town's mayor. Oh. Aliens are going to take over the world and eat all the people. This drawing is unacceptable, young man. Art class is no place for strange things like aliens that eat people. Your grass will be green, your skies will be blue, and you will always, always color inside the lines. But I... I don't I, want to hear it. You need to learn to follow the rules. Stop trying to be so different. Hey, what you doing, boy? I can't see the television. Hey, Dad, you want to see my drawings? Can't you see him watching TV? Why do you waste your time drawing anyway? You can't make a living drawing silly pictures. <laughs> Mom? Yes, sweetie? Can I have one of those big boxes of crayons? The one with the sharpener in the back? Why would you want one of those silly things when we have that nice big television in the living room? Here, have a hunk 
mac and cheese and go watch TV with your father. to take this anymore. I can't be creative. The rest of the universe will suffer for my pain. I will drag every living creature into the depths of conformity and boredom with me. You'll never again see grass that is green or skies that are blue. You won't be able to color inside the lines because I am going to move those lines Forever! From this day forward, I will be boredom. Baron von Boredom. You know, we might want to cut back on his sugar intake. Mother, leave me alone. Can't you see I'm plotting to take over the world? All right, honey, but don't stay up too late. <laughs> Dret, mother, I can't concentrate on these genetic mutations with you making all that racket back there. At last, all of the pieces are in place. It is time to execute my plan. <sighs> you mock me with your delicate petals, intelligent designs, and brilliant colors. You must enter my world of boredom. <laughs> Come here, my beauties. Good dog. What are you, sharp pay? Tad partner, I have a special delivery for uh Bertha Wainwright. How ironic. I have a special delivery for you, my friend. For me? You should, ma'am. Hello, my minion. I am Boredom. Baron von Boredom. Come, my friend. We have work to do. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that marshmallow. Toasty brown without a hint of burnt stuff. BLT. Uh-huh. What? Have you listened to any of this conversation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Small kid, good drawer. Destruction, world domination. I got it. So, let me get this straight. A child started all this? We think so. And if the legend is correct, the child is now an adult and will destroy anything the least bit creative or original. By doing this, he could potentially control the planet through a state of boredom. It's like a trance. I don't get it. Think about it for a second. Can you remember a time when you were so bored you dozed off and can't remember anything that happened in that time? Yeah, I can think of a couple times like that. I usually just wake up in school with my head on my desk and a big puddle of drool next to my face. Oh, gee, that's attractive. We've spent many years trying to figure out what to do if this day ever came. Please tell me you have a solution. You've already met our solution. You're kidding me. The guy who can't spell sewer and likes ducks? I don't like ducks. Well, that's not entirely true. They're kind of cute the way they swim around, but it's not like I have ducky jammies or curtains or anything. Yes, the Horned Avenger is going to help us defeat Von Boredom. 
What you have to understand is that this event came quicker than we expected. His training is not complete. All right, that explains the big guy. Did you create the pig too? Eh, they call me BLT for short. We're not really sure where the pig came from. He just kind of showed up one day at lunchtime. This is unbelievable. We can't stop the big ninny unless we snap his army out of his trance. We need to get the message of faith and creativity to them. Maybe we could capture one of the minion soldiers. We might be able to get Von Bordem's secret out of him. Yeah. I think I know what will work. We might be lucky enough to get the information we need if we capture one of those stick figure fellas that works for this evil genius. I move. Private, go check on that. La -di -da, -di da it is such a nice day. I is just a little rabbit. Okay, stick boy, what's the weakness of your master? I, I think I have a way to make this guy spill his guts. <laughs> All right, Buster, we've had just about enough. Tell us what Von Portem's secret is. How does he control his army? You better tell us, or we're gonna start to get rough. Hmm, this one can't talk. He doesn't have a mouth. Hey, you're right. Well, BLT, we have ways of making him talk. <laughs> that should do it. That's not a mouth. It's a line. Ah, BLT, you still have much to learn. Creativity is often best expressed through simplicity. I think you're just lazy. He don't have no lips or teeth or nothing. For crying out loud, it's just a line. I am not lazy. Some of the best tricks to cartooning use simple shapes. A cartoon mouth can be made from a simple line. Eyes can be made using dots, and a nose can be created using a plain circle. Uh, well, at least give him some teeth. <sighs> you are really high maintenance. You may be able to give me a mouth, but you can't make me talk. Don't make us play hardball with you! I said, I'll never talk. My skinny little friend, do you want to talk now? Ah, I'll talk, I'll talk. Just get that stinky sock out of my face. What do you want to know? What do you want to know? We need to know what Von Bordem's secret is. How does he control his army? I'll never tell you that. I don't know. I tell you, I don't know. Well, now what do we do? Rats. I really thought we had finally outsmarted, outwitted, and outthunk the mighty Baron Von Bordem. H.A., hey, I don't think thunk is a word. You don't think or you don't thunk? Think. Or is it thought? It could be thought. Uh, well, I thought it was think. Thought, I think. Hey, maybe it's thinkted. Could be. I hadn't thunked about thinkted. Yes, I'm sure it's thought. Hey, guys. Guys, hello. Alert! Alert! Created Insecti 5! We are hard pressed on every side, but not crushed. Perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not abandoned.
struck down, but not destroyed. Oh no, this mountain is in the way. We'll have to go all the way back. Hey, Mustard Seed. You're right. Give me a few seconds. I don't think so, my own friend. No creature, not even one with your creative skills, can escape the incredible power of the Wainwright family vacation slides. Here is Mellowstone Park. <laughs> and here we are at the Maple Syrup Factory in Colonial Rockhaven. <laughs> The world's largest house of cards! <laughs> oh no! Oh, oh, not maple syrup so bored! Wallow in boredom, you fools! You will never know your creator. <laughs> oh, weak, so weak. <laughs> My two little sleepy heads have awakened. You. What do you mean, you? We've never seen this guy before in our lives. Really? He's not my father? You're not my father? Of course I'm not your father. That's ridiculous. You bet, guys, you know that uh, father thing. That's a great plot twist. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> wow. I'm sorry. I mistook you for someone else. Uh, so sorry I interrupted. Now, uh, who are you? And what have you done with Allie? The girl is fine. Let's just say she's a little busy right now. As far as I'm concerned, I am your nemesis. The one and only Baron Von Boredom. <laughs> hey, Boredom. Come here for a minute, will ya? Closer. What? What's that? Way up there on the ceiling. <coughs> I demand to know what you're up to, you big meanie. It's very simple, my horned friend. I plan on ruling the world. If I can't enjoy creativity, I'll see to it that nobody else gets to either. I'm going to turn everyone into boredom zombies and control their minds. With that army of boredom zombies, I will control the entire planet. Boredom zombies? That doesn't sound good. I know it's not a very good name for my minions of evil, but it's really hard to come up with something really, really catchy. Uh, yes, that's not what I meant, though. The name Boredom Zombies is actually quite catchy. It's the plan that doesn't sound good. It sounds evil. Of course it doesn't sound good to you, but I think it sounds wonderful. I'm really not a bad guy. I just want to rule the planet and have my every whim become law. Oh, yeah. And turn all humanity into an army of mindless slaves that will do my bidding. Is that so wrong? Well, I, uh, uh... It's wrong, isn't it? Oh, well. I don't care. I'm going to do it anyway. And what's to become of us? Well... I could use some help taking over the world. You two seem to be a couple of guys with a lot on the ball. If you join me, you could be rich, with an army of slaves to do everything you want them to. What do you say? It sounds boring. Hey, hey. how many slaves did you say? <coughs> oh, well, I know, I know, okay. It sounds boring. Fine. I didn't want you to join my team anyway. I planned on turning you both into stick figures all along. Mm -hmm. Oh, now don't be hurt. It's not you, it's us. R really, I mean that. Oh, don't think about it another moment, my friend. When I hit the start button, my device will be activated, and I'll have crushed Avenger with a side of bacon bits. Mmm, that sounds good. Can we get fries with that?
I'm sorry for leaving you for a moment, but I want to be comfortable when the anvil drops. An anvil? You're gonna drop an anvil on us? What? You were expecting something creative? No, no, no. An anvil will be just fine. <clears throat> um, aren't you going to leave? How are we supposed to get away if you sits there and watches us? Exactly. Discomfort. Do you people have any idea how long it takes to reset this machine? It takes like a whole day. I don't have time to play anymore. I have an appointment with my tax guy. <laughs> you have a minion do your taxes? Have you met my tax guy? There was no need to turn him into a minion. That would be a personality infusion for this guy. I guess I'll just have to leave you here unguarded. I trust these sturdy ropes will hold until I get back. Now that's more like it. The bad guy always has to leave. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what's known as a plot flaw. BLT, you might be able to reach my utility belt with your curly tail. If you can just stretch it out a bit. Keep reaching. There you go. Almost got it. Ah-ha! <laughs> Voila! My eraser! Erase, BLT! Erase like the wind! I said, hand me some arrows, you goofs. Not sparrows. Oh, never mind. It's no fun once the surprise is ruined. What kind of monster uses small songbirds to do his evil deeds? Not even a sparrow, worth half a penny, can fall to the ground without your creator knowing it. Uh, what did you say? Long story. At last, Von Boredom. We meet face to face. We've already met face to face. Remember? Just a short while ago? You and Pig Boy were tied down on the table of discomfort. We were face to face then. Oh, yes, yes, yes. At last, we meet once again face to face. Again. You want more time again? I'm tired of toying with you. It's time to get rid of you once and for all. Back off! I want to finish these two myself. Oh. I don't want to finish you up this way. It's too quick. I have a better idea. You know. What are you talking about? This whole thing. It's incredibly ironic. Well, Missy, why don't you enlighten us all about this incredible irony you speak of? Here you are about to destroy the Horned Avenger, which will open the door for you to take over the world through boredom and conformity. I still fail to see the irony. You really don't see it, do you? You're the most creative person I've ever met. You're the most You're the creative, most creative person, person I've ever met. The most creative person I've ever met. The most creative person I've ever met. The most creative person I've ever met. You are a liar! You have no idea what you are talking about. I'm not lying. 
It takes an incredibly creative mind to bring these things to life. The Erasosauruses, the minions, and the space alien. They're all incredibly creative. Incredibly, incredibly creative. creative. No matter what you think, Boredom, creativity will win the day. Oh, sure, you may be able to contain it for a while, but you can never destroy it completely. It's a lot like athlete's foot in that way. Oh, and that haircut you got. Oh, that's real creative, too. It's not very flattering, but it's creative. But it's creative. It's creative. Oh, creative. Creative. You may have won this time, Avenger, but I will return. And I will return stronger than ever. <laughs> hey, hey, Avenger, shouldn't we go get Von Bordem while we can? Haven't you learned anything, BLT? When you defeat a bad guy like Von Boredom, it sucks the wind out of their sails. They just gotta give up. Uh, but, but Avenger, it seems like in all the movies I've seen, the guys actually do come back to- Hush, my little pink friend. I'm confident that that's the last we'll ever see of our friend, Baron Von Boredom. I'd stake my reputation on it. Yeah, yeah, that makes me feel a lot better. <laughs>